What's up guys? I am back with another video and I know you saw the thumbnail. I just know you did. Yep, we're going to be making some red beans and rice. So here's all of what you're going to be needing to make this. I'm going to run down everything then we'll get into making it. Okay, so here I have some smoked turkey wings. I'm only going to be using the drum part of this because it's the biggest and we're not going to need much of that because we have the sausage, which is the andouille sausage here. I'll show you which one that I use. Here it is. I use this brand and I just pretty much sliced them up. You can see that. Okay, I have one package of dried red kidney beans. I let them soak overnight and they did expand a little bit, as you can see. And you pick out the ones that aren't good. That's fine right there. I got some chicken broth. I'm using low sodium because we are going to be adding some of our own seasonings. I got more than one of these, but I didn't put it in the camera. But the description will have the measurements, and the full list of ingredients, which consists of green bell pepper, red bell pepper, I got some celery here, and I got some onion, and also some minced garlic that I use with my garlic press to mince up. Then here, I have my seasoning blend. I got some chicken bouillon, some dried thyme, black pepper, Creole seasoning, tip, paprika, bay leaves, and a little bit of salt. So, Without further ado, guys, let's head over to the stove and start making this wonderful dish. Okay, so we're going to start off by cooking our sausage. We're just going to cook them enough to get a brown sear on each side. So as soon as we get that, I will come back and show you exactly what it's supposed to look like. All right, guys, so it's been about five minutes and our sausage are done and ready to come out. You don't want to come... You don't want a complete charred look on them. See that? That's fine. Some of them may be a little darker than others, but you don't want that. And the reason for that is because you don't want your dish to be bitter. You don't want to add any bitter flavor to your dish. And also, guys, off camera, I did add one tablespoon of butter to get these sausages going. Sorry about that. So basically what this did for our dish as far as browning the sausage is helping release the flavor and the oils so that we can add layers of flavor to our beans. See, there we go. Beautiful, beautiful. To this same pot, we're gonna be adding a tablespoon of butter so we can get our vegetables going. So I'm gonna start off with our onions. I just wanna Get a slight saute on these before I add everything else. Just a little bit, not much. Just a little bit. Guys, so there's already flavor in this dish from us cooking our sausage before adding all of this. As, as you can see, it's on the onions. See that? All right, so let's add the rest of our vegetables. Ooh, we, I love the smell of this. All right, we're just gonna give this a slight mix, make sure that everything is mixed together. And guys, feel free if it's not enough oil in there or butter, whatever it is that you're choosing to use, you can add a little bit more, but not too much. Not too much. We're going to let this go for about three minutes the most. You don't need to cook this down too, too much to where they become translucent. That's not what you want. Just a little bit until they become fragrant. So about three minutes would be best. And now after you reach the three minutes, you want to add in your garlic. Add that last because you don't want it to burn. You know this part will be done when you smell the garlic. You just want to do it until it's fragrant. Man, this smells good. Oh my God. I know this is going to be good. All right, so we're going to let this go for about two more minutes. Being that we've added the garlic in, then we're going to proceed with the rest of layering our flavors. Okay, that three minute mark has gone and went. Let's add in our seasonings. All of it, all of it. Let's mix that in. 
see how it's giving a little bit of color. And that Crayola seasoning, oh my God, it's making this smell so amazing. Let me give you guys a close up. Doesn't that look good? <laughs> all right, all right. I can still smell like garlic. Oh man. All right, so now to this, we're gonna be adding back our sausage. Give those guys a mix. This is coming together lovely so far. Now we're going to add our beans. Okay, let me switch to a spoon now. <laughs> Now we're going to get all of this mixed up. Make sure everything is thoroughly mixed. Okay, that looks good to me. Now it's time to add our chicken broth. Guys, don't worry. I'm going to be listing everything in the description below as far as the measurements and everything which you're going to be using to make this dish. Now it's time to add our bay leaves in there. Give this a quick stir. Look at this, guys. Y'all can't tell me this isn't going to be flavorful. Look at all that goodness up in there. All right, now. All right. Now we're gonna add our smoked meat. Ooh-wee. Get that buried in there. Just let that all sit and let all these flavors come together. Trust me guys, you're not gonna go wrong with following this recipe. Okay guys, so once you got everything added to your pot, you're going to raise your flame a little bit just to bring this to a boil, to marry the flavors together a little better. Then we're gonna reduce the flame so that it can simmer for the next hour. And it's time guys, but before I reduce this heat, I just wanna let you guys know that I did taste the liquid for the beans and it tastes amazing. We might not need to add anything later on, but we'll see. So I'm going to reduce the heat and now I'm going to cover this and let it simmer for one whole hour. But in between, every 15, 20 minutes, you wanna come in and make sure that you stir this to make sure that there's nothing sticking to the bottom because the liquid will reduce slightly and you don't want any buildup around the side and you don't want your beans to stick to the bottom. So definitely do that and we'll be back when it's almost done. All right, y'all, so it's been about 20 minutes. Let's open this up and see what we got going on here. This is the part where I told you that you just want to occasionally stir everything to make sure that nothing is sticking to the bottom. We still have a ways to go. See how everything is coming together? You want to cook this at least, like I said, for about an hour or until your beans are tender. Okay? Right now I got some cornbread going in the oven and I got some white rice cooking. It's on and popping, guys. So... When this is done, I will come back, but make sure in another 20 minutes you come back to stir your beans to make sure that nothing is sticking. All right, y'all, so we are back, and it's been about an hour and a half. I did come back to the beans in the hour's time, but the beans were not tender enough for me, so I let them go a little bit longer. So we're going to open this, and we are going to see what's going on up in here. Ooh, that smells good. Very, very good. All right, so let's give this a stir, see what's going on. Oh, wow, the meat fell right off the bone. See this? This is what you want. Now, you know you got some goodness up in this pot. And the gravy for the beans have came together. But I'm going to make this a little bit thicker. Okay? So what I'm going to do right now 
is I'm going to take that bone out <clears throat> and we're going to shred, well not shred, we're going to take the rest of the meat off because I don't want the skin at all. You don't want the skin. You see that there? You don't want that. So I'm going to take that off. Hey, sausage, you stay in. You stay in. This party isn't for you. Not right now. All right, and some of the meat, I want to make this a little bit smaller. Oh, found another one. All right, another piece here. So I'm assuming that that's probably it. Yep, so I'm going to leave that to the side. And we're also going to take some of the beans out so we can make a quick slight bean paste. We're going to take some of the beans and mash them up to make our gravy a tad bit thicker. Put the sausage, if you catch any, put it back. They can't come to the party right now. Not until it's time to eat. We'll take a little bit more beans. I do have a perforated spoon. I should just shake it and get all the excess juice out. Okay, that should be good. You don't want too much. So I'll say about two spoonfuls. All right, guys. So for this step, we're just going to be using two forks to pull the meat off. Like I said, we don't want the skin. We don't want that. Got a couple of beans over here, too. <laughs> Just add them over here. It's going to help with our bean paste. All right, so we're going to continue to pull this meat off. Look at that, how easy it came off. Man, listen. It's going to be some good stuff here. <laughs> Still got a couple of beans around here. Okay, so here is the skin, guys. We're going to discard that with the bone. We don't need that. And we don't need much of this smoked meat either, but unfortunately, it's here. Now, let me get this off. And we don't need much of this smoked meat either because, remember, we have the sausage. So if it looks too little for you, then that's definitely up to you to add more or... No, leave it this way. You don't want to have too many big chunks of this meat either. All right, so I'm just gonna, just gonna do a rough shred. Nothing too crazy. All right, that should do. So this is what we are going to be adding back to the pot. That's garbage. This is the goods, all right? So I'm gonna set that aside. Let's work on our beans. All right, so we took about two spoonfuls of uh, beans out. We're just gonna give them a mash. Get you a potato masher, or get, you could use a fork. Whatever works easy for you. And this is all you want to do. And this is just done to make the gravy thicker for our beans. There, guys. See how easy that was? And it's okay to still have, you know, a few beans, just as long as they're not whole, you know, in it. This is what you want, though. That paste right there. So let me give you guys a close-up on what it should look like. You got that? Kind of like the refried beans <laughs> on tacos, but this is way better. So, all right, so let's add all of this stuff back to our pot of beans and finish up this cooking process. So first we'll add our meat. Kind of mix that in. Oh boy, yeah. Now we're gonna do our 
bean paste that we made. Guys, remember, this is just to make a better gravy. Just kind of mix that in. Let this go for like another 15 minutes. Oh, man. And still keep your flames on low. Guys, this smells so good. I know I keep saying this throughout the video, but this is the, but that's the honest to God truth. Look at that. Ooh, wee. All right, so we got to put the lid back on. Let this go for like another 15 minutes. Before we make a plate to dig in to taste it, let me let you guys see exactly what the final product is looking like. Look at that. Come on. Come on, y'all. Come on. The consistency is amazing. Y'all know I tasted it. I had to to make sure I didn't need any salt. So, guys, the exact recipe that I give y'all in the description, as far as the seasonings and everything, you are going to be just fine with that alone. But if you feel the need to add some more salt or whatever it is that you may want extra of, feel free to do that. But this is just fine. So, without further ado, guys, let's plate up. It's time. It's time. To eat, to eat. All right, guys, so I already made some white rice, as I told you guys earlier. So here it is, nice and steamy. So let's get some of this goodness from out of this pot into this bowl. Ooh-wee. You just want to put your beans around the rice. Ooh -wee. There we have it, guys. Mm. How does that look so far? Y'all feeling that? <laughs> All right, so let me push this to the side. Y'all think I should hit it with a little bit of food glitter? What y'all think? I think so. Let's do it. Just a little bit. We don't need much. How does that look to y'all? Please tell me how it looks. That looks good, right? Nice and piping hot. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Can't forget the cornbread. Which part of the cornbread do you guys like? The end pieces or the middle? Mmm. I think I'm gonna do the middle today. Some nice buttery cornbread. Oh man. Oh man. Now for the moment of truth. Let's do it. Let's get some of this rice. First bite goes to you. Now me. Mmm. 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 That is so good. I gotta get some more of this. With some cornbread. Mmm. <laughs> Y'all wanna try it this way? Here you go. Mmm. Mmm. Guys, I'm not even going to lie to y'all. Make this. This recipe is so good. Mm. This is perfect. <laughs> Especially for the upcoming weather. Guys, so with that being said, I'm going to get on out of here and finish this up because it's that good. And also, make sure that you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Share it. Watch it over and over again. <laughs> Definitely turn on your notification bells so that you can be notified every time that I make a video. And with all of that being said, guys, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching.